So first, every day we'll start off with shoots and boards, all right? Shoots and boards are just a really good way for us to work our footwork, um, for us to work pad level, and really emphasize running off the ball. It's also a really good way to kind of get the guys warmed up, all right? So as you can see here, footwork and pad level, right? That first step, we're gaining ground, stepping over the board. Second step's got to go vertical through the crotch, and then we're running up the board, right? Now, as you can see, as these guys are coming through the end of it, all right, we want to see you roll your hips through, unlock your hips. So the uh, number 70 right here is doing a pretty good job of it, rolling his hips through, finishing the drill, and that's what we want to see each rep. And again, this is something that we start practice with almost every day, just as a way to get the guys loose, get them working on their footwork and working on bending their knees and playing with good pad level. All right, angle the boards, inside footwork, outside footwork, whatever you want to do under there. All right, but this is just an example of how we do it. All right, so another thing that we spend a lot of time on is the leverage sled, okay? I'm not gonna show a million clips of everything we do at practice. I'm gonna show a couple of them, talk about them. That way you guys can use them at home or you know at school, wherever you need to use them, but we'll use the leverage sled, all right? So here we go with the first clip. All right, here's what we wanna do. Coaching points, all right? First step, we wanna gain ground on that first step, all right? That second step, we want to step through the crotch, vertical up the field, all right? We always want to play with violent hands, thumbs up, elbows together, and unlock your hips and finish. So here we go. We're working inside footwork here, all right? Inside number cutoff. This is pretty good by the right guard and the right tackle. All right, they're gaining a little bit of ground on that first step, making contact on that second step as it's driving vertical, striking with their hands, and unlocking their hips and finishing. All right, here we are again. All right, now we're working an outside shade. The same concept, all right? Now on this one, as you can see, the right tackle here, he's not gaining any ground on that first step. He's kind of pivoting. So we want to see a little bit of gain ground on that first step. Second step, getting vertical upfield. Strike with the hands and unlock the hips. All right, from there, we'll start working our combination blocks, okay? so. Combination block we typically start off with working is a, or is a single block, all right? A single block is a combination between the center and the front side guard. So as you can see here, we got a two eye on the guard. And this is a really good job here of what it should look like, all right? They're getting hip to hip. That guard's trying to press that leg vertical. He's trying to drive it up the field hip to hip, coming off on the backer at the right time. The biggest thing here is the center doesn't need to come off that block early, right? Essentially what we wanna do is displace that down lineman and drop him in the linebacker's lap. There's a pretty good job here by the center, coming off at the right time, and I just wanna see him finish a little bit more physically, all right? From there, we'll typically work B blocks. All right, so B block is a backside combination on inside zone, right, between the backside tackle and the backside guard. All right, so here we go. Okay, coaching points here. This tackle, all right, as you can see with his right foot, is losing ground, he's, he's false stepping here. All right, what we wanna do is have him gain a little bit of ground and get that second step vertical through the crotch. So as you can see, since he's not gaining any ground on that first step, he's gotta pivot and cross over on that second step and he's making contact when he's crossed over. If that's a real shit kick or three technique or defense alignment, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble, all right? So this is pretty good by the guard though, gaining a little bit of ground with that first step, second step getting vertical, coming off on the backer. Only coaching point with him is, as you can see right here on the second level, he's catching, right? He's bear hugging that guy. We want him to get his hands inside, strike him on the chest, and be physical. Here's another look at it. Good. This is a little bit better with the tackle here. Gain a little bit of, gaining a little bit of ground with that first step. Guard's pretty good, playing vertical. Good, snap off on that backer, get your hands inside. All right, so from there, we'll kind of work half line combos, okay? So the first one is a single and a B block, and it's a half line drill. So here we go. So the front side here, 
is running is blocking a single call. Okay, that's a combination between front side guard and the center. All right, working to the mic or the ID. And the backside's working a B block here to one pass. This is a pretty good look. All right, as you can see on the double teams, they're trying to get hip to hip, pressing vertically. All right, coaching point here. This backside guard here, number 70, all right? I wanna see his shoulders more square. Keep that left arm free, because if that guy runs through, we're responsible for him. So you gotta keep that left arm free, all right? And then when you snap off, dip and hit at the second level. Dip and hit at the second level. Here's another look at it. That's better by the left guard. Better by number 70 as well. But this, this is the coaching point right here. See how this left guard here on this single block is dipping and hitting at the second level? That's what we want to see. And accelerate your feet on contact, right? It's a good job. All right. From there, we'll work inside number drive blocks, all right? Inside number drive blocks are on the front side of inside zone. So here we go. These two dudes, the left tackle and the left guard, they got man on inside number drive blocks. Backside, we're working a A block, all right? We got a tight two eye on the guard, so the center is going to be making a gong call. So here you can see it. Good inside footwork by the, guard and the, by the left guard and the left tackle. Hands inside, playing with good pad level, running off the ball. It's a good look at it. All right, going the other way. Again, center's working a gong call. That backside guard, when he hears the gong call, knows that he's going to be on man on that de defense alignment on his own. All right, then the front side, we got inside number drive blocks again. It's pretty good by 70 there. All right, really got to be strong with that inside hand. All right, so in the league that we play in, ACC, we get a lot of line games, a lot of simulated pressures, okay? So here we go. This is during spring ball this year. All right, something we saw a lot at a practice were these tar stunts on the front side of zone. All right. Coaching point here. Watch this left guard, all right, watch his first step. He doesn't pick it up. He doesn't gain any ground. He's false steps and pivots. That's going to get him into trouble when we get the line games and he's not able to redirect quick enough, okay? So as you can see here, we get beat on this. He's got, to, he's got to snap off. All right, so how do we work that? Well, we simulated at practice, simulated in individual drills. It's that same half line drill. All right, we're just simulating these tar stunts. As you can see, this is the same kid here, left guard. All right, he's picking up and gaining ground on that first step. As he's doing that, that allows him to snap off since he's getting up the field and pick up the tar stunt. All right, again, we got a gone call here on the back side. With that, that backside guard knows he's going to be by himself. Good footwork, cutting that guy off and driving him vertical. 